Quantum computers cannot perform classical, you know, today's computers, because they're exponentially more powerful. I mean, a traditional computer calculates one thing at a time, basically. But a quantum computer can do like two to the power n things at a time. Hugely superior. But even those huge numbers I gave, you know, a trillion trillion or a trillion 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 with an asteroid size reversible computing mass, that's classical computing. Right. So you put that into a quantum... The numbers are just so superior to, to what, what we are as human beings. But what if that LLM to the nth degree, chat GPT to the nth, doesn't ever get to AGI and you just get a... Well, then we have to you know, go the brain route. Else. Okay, right. There's, there's two, you know, the same two... So two is that what the end's saying? That this, the GPT whatever isn't going to ever threaten us? Or do you think he's just not being realistic or not being honest? I, I think the... Well, this is just my interpretation. If... if if he's saying that uh, you know, AI is never going to get to AGI and above, artificial general intelligence and above, that I think is ridiculous. But if he's saying that you know, the, these LLM, large language models, approach is going to just flatten out, that, that may be realistic. And he'd know better than I would. Because what if he says that's not ever going to be a danger to humanity? It, it depends how, how much, you know, when it flattens out. If it's going to flatten out well above human level, then it's a threat, of course. But if it's underneath, not a threat. I think he argued that even if they're massively superior in intelligence, that we have nothing to worry about. I think that's what he said. No, that to me is ridiculous. So let's talk about that concept, because I've recently spoke to, um, I think, Professor Roman Yapolsky, um, who has an opinion. And then I spoke to Mo Gaudet, who used to work at Google X. Mm. Now, Mo says that we should be nice to the machines because if they can see that we have humanity, then maybe they'll learn better because they're gonna learn how we treat each other, mm. which I was never quite sure of. Roman um, Yampolsky. Do you remember we, we talked a little bit about that last yeah, time? Yeah, we I was, did. I was and very skeptical because, okay, why? that may be true, like generation one, you know, the first AGI to be made. Yeah. Perhaps human beings can engineer them in such a way that they stay friendly to us right but because they're intelligent machines they can design the next generation so gen 2 which gen, you know designs gen 3 so the idea that you know after n generations you know hyper intelligent creatures machines way up here th to pretend that human beings are smart enough with generation 1 to place constraints on it such that generation 2 to n and generation N machine remains human friendly. That that is hubris to the nth degree. It's just crazy. <laughs> so you, um, I agree with you. It is crazy. So you know, sooner or later, uh, you know, the bottom line then is humanity is going to have to choose. Are, are we going to become number two species? And that's if we time it right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, with all the takeoff and everything. Right. Yeah, and now what did Ilya see? You know, is Sam right now holding back on ChatGPT5 because it's going to scare the living daylights out of people? What do they see in that company? They're developing at the speed of light. They're talking about buying nuclear power plants because of the electricity so, required but, uh, 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 for these things. And it's probably going to be a potential, I'm curious what you think about this, a winner-take-all scenario. They're, they're acting like it is, mm. and that's why, you know, the big players, I guess the Amazons and mm, the mm. Googles, and the metas mm. are putting, they're going all in on it and they're getting so much power. Even Trump went out and talked to him and Trump repeated in some of his speeches, he said, the amount of power they need to run these AIs. Oh, is, oh power in both senses. <laughs> yeah, well, he was talking about the electrical power right, right. is such, such a massive amount and they're all trying to get that as soon as possible mm -hmm. because they know that Survival. holy grail. Yeah, yeah. And also the humans with the powerful AI can control other humans. Yeah, that was Putin's famous, Famous prediction. Okay. Right? And is that the edge the cosmos have as well in this war? Because they, in the early stages, will have control over the AI to dominate the Terrans. But then in the long enough timeline, the AI will do whatever. Well, it's it certainly, wants to I mean, I can imagine the Terrans. Investment Club. Today, I consider it the best investment that I've ever made. We get four projects presented a week by their associated CEOs. Personally, I'm completely blown away by the quality of these projects, and I know of nowhere else where I would be given this same opportunity. Each week that passes, I feel more appreciative of the fact that I'm a member of this group. The vibe was just tremendous. 
everybody's on the same wavelength. We just clicked. Everybody listened to each other, enjoyed their company. It was just magical, magical. Take action. Don't take my word for it. Do diligence you need to do. And I really hope that someday down the road, I see you in the club. It far exceeded expectations, without question. You know, so long as their computers aren't too smart, but they, they will also use... Uh, right. The, the, because the, the two sides have to keep level each other in military capacity. Right. Other, otherwise... So the Terrans use AIs to fight back against the Cosmos AI until the AI takes over. <laughs> is this all in the book? Or is this different versions of the book? Well, this is sort of later thinking. <laughs> Are we going to make a movie out of the book? Uh, well, that'd be nice. I think you should. In fact... Um, I think it'd be fascinating. What year it was? Like some uh, literature graduate, you know, you got a, a bachelor's degree in English literature. He and I, I went to Hollywood, and we wrote a script together, okay. and we submitted it, and it just died <laughs> for Art of Like War. Yeah, but when was this? Ten years oh, ago. God, yeah, more, yeah. Oh, more, more. But now, but, now it could be different. Yeah, well, you know, someone may take up the idea. And, and look, a lot of times. Uh, in fact, did, yeah, I I was the technical consultant from by Warner Brothers for the movie Transcendence. Really, I don't think I watched it. Well, I, actually, it. it was it was for another movie. Um, <sighs> like with an AI component to it. Definitely, uh, it was in the fifties. It was very popular, and they had uh, anyway. It was, it was, it was set it, in the fifties. Yeah. No, no, it was made, actually made in the 50s, okay. early, early television. I can't remember that. It was a TV series. Anyway, they wanted to make a movie version out of this, and okay. they, they hired me as a technical consultant. Okay. And so I was saying, look, I don't really care about the details, you know, boy, girl, violence, sex, you know, all that stuff, but I do care about the background that in which, the, you know, the context in which the movie's set. So I suggested to them, choose a time, just a decade or two, into the future, when that IQ gap, you know, human level intelligence, machine level intelligence, when that gap is closed, is actually closed, and and people are freaking out, you know, asking these deep questions, you know, are we going to allow our machines to become smarter than us, way smarter than us? Isn't that really dangerous, et cetera, et cetera? And you get vigilante groups set up. Now, in the movie uh, that came out, uh, were Transcendence, the vigilante groups were called RIFT in, in the movie, R-I-F-T, I can't, I can't remember what, it's an acronym for it. But basically their role was to assassinate the, you know, the brain builder CEOs and right. so forth, which is, which is the scenario of the movie. Yeah. Now, uh, so I sent this off to them. Two years later, nothing happened. And then, then Transcendence comes out. My jaw drops. And I say, hey, that's my movie. <laughs> and so I think what happened is uh, Transcendence was Warner Brothers. This, this other, you know, the original one, Warner Brothers. So I think... I'm suspicious. I'm deeply suspicious of what happened. Is right. they just transferred the ideas to this other movie. Therefore, the you know the signing bonus you get if if it's actually filmed, they didn't have to pay me, which would have been a lot of zeros, right? So uh, I'm sure stranger things have happened in Florida, in Hollywood, <laughs> than that. <laughs> yeah. And so this is a potential future scenario that we're talking about. Um, look, I think you should make a movie because a lot of times that's the only way humans get it is through that emotional connection in that movie. That's, that's a skill set. You know, you, I've, I've always been impressed. You, you, at, at the end of the movie, often, they, they roll the crits, you know, all the technical, you know, uh, director, vice director, producers, and, and then grips one, grips two, and all, you know, all that stuff. An army of people. Uh, you, you, you need to be a real manager. I'm not... A manager type. <laughs> you ask my brother or sister. Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club. So you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, 
AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investor club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.